Media queries are great when we want to style things for different screen sizes, but sometimes that's not enough. Imagine you have a card sitting inside a tiny sidebar or the same card inside a big white section. The screen size hasn't changed, but the design still breaks. The problem isn't the screen, it's the container size. And that's exactly where container queries come in. They let us style elements based on their container, not the whole screen. In this video, I will explain container queries in super simple words with examples that actually make sense. What exactly are container queries? In simple words, they let you style an element based on the size of the box it's inside, not the whole screen. With media queries, styles only react to the screen size. But with container queries, styles react to the parent container. Let me show you with a simple card example. Here we have the same card twice, one is inside a small box and the other inside a large box. Now to use container queries, we tell these boxes to act as containers. And here's the magic. We can change the card style depending on the container's width. Now look at the result. The card inside the small box keeps a small black heading but the card inside the large box gets a bigger green heading because its container is wide enough. Same component but each one adapts to the size of its own box. That's what makes container queries powerful. <laughs> First thing, we need to tell the browser which element will act as a container. We do that with container type. It's just a small flag that says, hey browser, I might ask about this box size later. Now add this CSS to mark post as a container. That inline size value says we care about the container's width. There's also size checks both width and height and normal which turns off size queries. But inline size is what we usually want when we care about width. In plain words, once post is a container, anything inside like card can react to the width of post. So later Later, we can write a container query that says if this parent is white, change the card style. That's it. Marking the parent as a container is the only step you need before writing container queries. <laughs> Alright, now let's actually write a container query. Here I have a simple card inside a container. By default, I will keep the heading small. Let's style it normally first. Now comes the container query. I will say, if the parent post is wider than 700 pixels, make the heading bigger and change its color. Super simple. So here's the logic. If the parent is wide, the heading grows bigger. If the parent is narrow, it stays small. Easy as that. And the best part, this card now works anywhere. Put it inside a narrow sidebar, the heading stays small. Place it inside a wide section, the heading automatically gets bigger. You don't have to write separate rules for every screen. The card just adapts to its parent. <laughs> Okay, now what if you have more than one container and you only want the container to respond to a specific one? That's where container names come in. You can give any container a name and then use that name inside your query. Here I named my container sidebar. Now I can write a query that only listens to this container. See the difference? Instead of just looking for the nearest container, we are telling the browser, hey, only check this sidebar container. That's super useful when you have multiple containers on a page, but you want one component to respond to just one of them. Alright, there's also a shortcut for naming containers. Instead of writing container type and container name separately, you can do it in one line. That's it. This is just a shorthand way of saying the same thing we did before. The name is sidebar and the type is inline size. Nothing new, just less typing. <laughs> Now here is something really cool, container queries also give us special units, things like CQW and CQH. They were kind of like percentages but instead of using the whole screen, they are based on the size of the container. So if you say 2CQW, that means 2% of the container's width. This makes the font size scale as the container grows or shrinks. If the container is wide, the text gets bigger. If the container is narrow, the text gets smaller. 